What up guys, Muffin.Man playing a bit of magic on Xbox. What? He's playing it on Xbox. I'll keep this hand. Um, priority at the moment is... Uh, um, let's see, I'm thinking I'm going to play this card. I'm going to get the still, uh, what is it? Uh, Ethereum Sculpts of the Greenlands. Now that's... What is it? I'm obviously playing the new green deck. I like the green deck. There's not a lot of people that like it for some reason. I don't know why. But to me, this is actually a good deck. It's... It's... I don't know what it is. It's, sometimes it can be slow. Sometimes it can be fast. But why am I playing this on Xbox? Because obviously in the meantime, my PlayStation is not working. So I thought that I'll just play this thing. I'll buy the game on Xbox quickly. And give this a go. So... Not too bad. So I officially own the magic, all magic games on all platforms now. Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Path to Exile, my one free. Go for it, give me a land. That's what that guy is to me, nothing but land. So we know what deck he's running, he's running March to War, but is he running the is he running it with all whites or is he running it with reds? Oh he's running it with red then, so Sound the alarm really? Okay. Okay, fair enough. I can't. I think I'll just play that. Do you know what I should have done? I should have played the other. I should have played the two through because I know that there's a, a lot. There is a lot of spells in that deck. And I'll just be drawing cards for days. So next turn, that's definitely going down. So let's just see what he does there. I will be swinging in this turn. But it's got two. It's got three lands. Don't don't have a squadron hawk. Don't like squadron hawks. So for the interference and the noise, got a two three. Okay, it's nothing. He's got haste, vigilance, but he's not going to be swinging it now, is he? This is mana ramp. Get to fifth land drop. Then play this. Um. Now he could. I should have played it my last main phase. I don't know why I didn't. But uh, should I swing in? He could destroy my card. But that's that's the least of my worries at the moment. He can triple. He can double block it. No, he's gonna let it through. To destroy, I need to triple block it. Okay, he's at the fourth land drop, and I don't want to see um, that card that gives all your creatures one one. He's got a second red. He might have lightning helix. Destroy my two three, but I still get to draw a card. We just don't know. He's not one in sixty, and I don't penalise anyone that doesn't one sixty. You know, it doesn't make you a bad player. I've seen people that have been running with a full 90 and they've still beat certain people. You know, it doesn't make a difference if you run 60 or not. It's just, it just makes you, just in some cases, you just run 60 so you don't draw certain cards. So I'm like, oh, I keep forgetting to play at main phase. So, uh, main phase 2. Anyway, swing for 2. Swinging again for 3. He has, if he doesn't block, then that's his problem. He can triple block. Go on, go on, and the other one. Okay. Oh. Hold on. Wait a minute. I don't like the. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Try to lightning heal it's my card. So we both get to draw two new cards now, I suppose. And gets each other. Oh, beautiful card. So he does believe like that, but I do destroy his card. Play the land. Next turn. I, love, I, I simply love this card. This card, if it had hexproof, it would be the greatest card ever, but it doesn't. Path to exile. What? Go for it, man. Go for it. If it makes you feel better. And I get, and on top of that, I get to draw and get land. This, this is beautiful. So. Squadron Hawk, this is where it could get bad though. He's probably gonna get all the Squadron Hawks in his deck. One, two, two? Hmm. 
So I'm guessing the earlier one's free. So he's basically guying up. Fair enough. So what am I going to do next? Let's see what I draw. Let's see what I draw. Um, it's going to have to actually be... See, if I play this card, it's going to be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's going to be a 12, 12 with Trample. Now, he has used up a lot of these kill cards, so... I'm not too worried about what he has or what he could have now. I could swing in for 2, 4 here. He would have to block... Um, I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. I've got this card, which I gain a life for each creature on the field, and all combat damage is resolved. We're all gone, pretty much. So he's turn he's probably thinking, should I play both my squadron hawks? <sighs> he's drawing line as well. He's ugh, this ain't good for me, but because this deck gets really good when you have lands. All, cause all I know that he won't be able to actually destroy my 12 throw. And next turn, that's going to be a 13 13 unless I draw a creature, which means it's going to be a 14 14. But we'll see what he has. Okay, it's not too for days. So I'm not too worried now. I can play that and gain a bunch of life. He's not going to swing in, which I don't blame him for. Play that. Winging. Ooh. Should I play that first and make it a 14 14? Does get to draw two new cards. I might not even play that actually. I don't want him to draw two cards. So I'll swing it for 13. Let's see how he blocks. No, he doesn't. He just lets it all through. So be it on you then. My guys are 9 9. 15 15. Conquest Pledge. Yep, because I'm going to get to draw two new cards. Fair enough. Hmm, that's going to help him too much. And that's not too bad. I think at, at this point he could. He could destroy my card. Oh, okay, it's game over now. I think this is game. Um, He's got two land open, so if I play this he might draw a path to exile. I don't want that to happen. But what are the odds of him getting a path to exile? He's he's already used two up. Oh, I like the healers. You know, I'll play it anyway. Just so my creature can be that much stronger. So I'm basically gonna swing in for 14 and you could just chomp that, but you can't chomp the 14, 14. I think that's game, really. There's nothing you can do about it. There is nothing you can do about it. He's probably counting it up, thinking, oh, I've lost. Yeah, just, just to add injury, I'll do that as well. Oh, God, no, what have I done? Uh -oh. I accidentally pressed that. I don't know what happened, I accidentally just pressed A. Uh, hope the combat damage goes through. No! I accidentally pressed A by accident. I ac that's not good. That isn't good. Because he's got a whole fresh new hand now. See, that was a complete mistake. I don't know what happened. I pressed A once and it it basically did both the cards. I don't know why I did that. But I could lose now because of that. <laughs> he's got he's got five cards in his hand. He could just make a comeback. Oh. Yep. There it is. There it is. And I'm about to lose a bunch of life. God damn, it wasn't even my fault. So I'm down to 22. I think I can still win though. 
I'm being a bit cocky, but I think I can still win. Probably play less, I can play my extra land. Um, I think I've... Oh, gosh, I've, I think I've lost this though. All because... Oh my god. If I can... I can still win this if I can draw um, Rancor. He gains four life now. Okay, I've lost now. <laughs> I've lost. Oh, I've lost. All because of that stupid. Oh, great! And he's 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 just gonna gain a bunch of life next go. <sighs> so all I can do is block one. I'm probably gonna block the two one, obviously. Um, destroy none. Destroy one of those. It's not going to make a difference. I've lost. I have lost. <sighs> and all because of the stupid button. Stupid button. I wasn't meant to press that. And do you know what? I should just concede the game. He's just taking the mic. Ridiculous that is. So he's gonna swing in with ten. Come on, carry on. Quite terrible. Nice little well, creatures got flying. I can only block. Do you know what? I might need to get a new Xbox controller? That was terrible. That was actually really terrible.